Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And a while ago I had built out a small tool kit and I actually kept it in this little Hello Kitty zipper pouch. Um, and I kind of missed that. Um, and when I got my Vito Pro Pack, I built that out nice and large and that was amazing, except it was too big to just grab and toss into a, um, you know, a duffel bag or something if I'm headed on the road. Um, or if I just wanted a, um, a quick small tool kit in case I was gonna encounter something. Um, and so I wanted to rebuild my Hello Kitty one again, and somebody else mentioned that once in the comments. You know, what was I going to do? Well, here I am. And so basically I laid out a majority of the tools that I want in there, but I ran into a problem. Um, these are actually on the large side. Um, they'll probably punch through. Uh, normally I like to have something, you know, a full-sized um, needle nose. Um, and so I, I thought, well, I'll go with a smaller pair, but right away, um, I, I, I like the needle nose, but I wanted a cutter as well, a wire cutter. And these small snap-ons don't have wire cutters on them. Um, I thought about the, using these Max. That's about the size I wanted. Um, and the, it has a cutter, but I don't necessarily want the bent tips. Um, and when I got these and I did the unboxing of these, um, these conical shaped wire bending pliers. I thought, I want a pair of needle nose about this size. Um, and you know what? Here they are. So what these are, this is the Knipex 2502160, 160 or 160 millimeters. And that's the same as this. Let's crack them open, and I'll show you why I chose these guys. Um, this is a uh, comfort grip handle. I like this handle. Um, very similar there. About, you know, the same. Nice, stout uh, needle nose with traction up here. And a good, solid cutter. Wow, silky smooth. German tools. Um, and, you know, you can see that it's considerably shorter than this. In fact, it's just a hair. Looks like bigger than this one, which I thought was on the too small side or on the smaller side. And here's the Mac. So if I could straighten out the Mac, put that in a vise and bend it back, uh, it'd be pretty close. But I ended up getting this, um, ordered it off of Amazon. There's a link below. I don't know what the price will be when you check the link, but when I got it, it was under $25. And remember, this one was under 20, so sometimes I just toss stuff in my shopping cart and wait. Because um, I, no I noticed it went up again, but then I don't follow it beyond that. So, good solid um, needle nose plier in a small form factor with a cutter. Um, and so now, that's going to complement, you know, my smaller Cobras. These are 180s, um, little snap-on adjustable wrench. Uh, my vampire scissors. I'm always using scissors, but this I'm not going to cut wire with these even though I'm sure they easily could um, And I needed something more than that. Um, I want a, a real cutter there um, My uh, small triple joint um, Snap-on this is the 45 ACF. This is just a great plier. It's a little tiny plier um, And I have moved this out of my veto for redundancy because of redundancy, but also uh, this one, it's just a PB Swiss um, bit driver, magnetic bit driver, and I've got eight bits on here, um, different ones for Torx and Hex, uh, mostly for bike work there. Uh, this is one of those Klein knives. I can't really open it very easily. People say they have them and they can. Well, tell me what I'm doing wrong because this thing is, I mean, I have plenty of knives, as you know, and I really can't get this thing open very easily. Um, but it's a good solid knife once it's open, so it's a good one for the kit. Um, and Sharpie, one of the Klein mini screwdrivers, um, flip around tips. Um, I like this because it has that cover, uh, so it's not going to puncture my bag. Sharpie, uh, let's say I said that, Milwaukee uh, rechargeable light. Um, anyway, so I'm going to get Hello Kitty uh, back in the game, and uh, this was the missing piece. This was the thing that I needed um, after I, you know, carried this around a bunch and decided I needed a, um, a solid, small needle nose with a cutter. Um, and I love the handles, big handles. I actually have, let me show you those while you're here. 
Um, I actually have some Kleins. Um, got a couple of pairs and they were possibilities. Um, here's a couple of Kleins. Uh, this one, very small, you know, kind of in the neighborhood. A little smaller than this, but again, no cutter. This one does have a cutter, but I really don't care for that handle. This is, I mean, it's really more precise work. Um, this is actually, you can see this is a lot narrower up here. I bring that up, so a lot sharper, uh, longer. These are, are great for um, kind of more specialized work, but otherwise the way this handle fits in my hand um, and controls the, you know, more real fine stuff. I need something more general purpose and I like that bigger handle. Um, so anyway, there it is. The Knipex 2502-160 needle nose plier with cutter.